Yo, what's up? Saw it. Today we're installing some light pods. I can't show you them because they're already installed. I recorded an intro, but then proceeded to accidentally delete it. So, whoops. Once the, the sun goes down, we'll do a little before and after. We'll adjust the normal headlights and then the headlights with the things. Because these, I, I actually bought these for a reason. Like, they, they'll help me see. They're basically act like your brights. Yeah, pretty much. Because the brights suck. I fell, being lost, to the war, shot me dead, I was lost, and I said, do the voice in my head. All right, so change of plans. Uh, the bottom ones didn't work because there was metal, uh, well, the frame was in the way, and I did not want to cut the frame just for lights. So there was these top ones that go in like that. And I think, one, that's a lot easier to reach to, and sec secondly, it looks better. So I think we're gonna do that. And I should be able to, oh no, where's the? The only problem is that it's kind of hard to reach the top of the bolt up there. Got it. Loose right now, but boom! Oh yeah. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna be taking off the tow hooks, cause tow hooks plus the light bar, there's just too much going on, too ricey. And he wants tow hooks anyway, so I'll give them to him. Things in. They're on! I just need to tighten them, which is going to be very, very interesting. It's just like, you could literally only do it like two ratchets at a time, and it's so hard to fit it in there. Wink, wink, that's what she said. <laughs> but uh, I got it. So, in all that time, I managed to tighten one of the lights. Brody freed up a hole in the firewall right there. Where, that's where the cruise control used to be. He ripped apart all my interior. Yeah, I'm like ripping everything apart Like right everything. Um, yeah. Are you running it through the left? Yeah, so that way it'll uh, come close to the uh, the fire thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. All right, yeah. So pretty much the wire is gonna go to the battery, which is back there. And it's gonna run up through, through here, here. Yeah. Snake around, down, under the carpet, up to the little hole in the firewall. And then to the thing. Yep. And the switch. Oh, you already fucking put the switch in. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh shit, son. We've been doing work. Yeah. That's pretty pretty sick, actually. Oh that. yeah, I'm pretty pumped actually. I keep saying actually, actually. So that's the only thing that's gonna run different. The switch is gonna come up through this side. All right, well I'll keep working on the uh, the, the light pods. Um, yeah. Why? All right, so update. Both the lights are in and secure. We're gonna have to adjust them so they're pointing down. They're kind of pointing up right now. Yeah, the other thing I did is I fixed this. As you can see, my tire was rubbing through my wiring harness because I was stupid and let it hang. Um, luckily, I noticed it before it was too late. 
Uh, so I, I zip tied it up there and then I'm gonna um, wrap it with electrical tape. Brody was working on extending the wires for the, uh, I think for the, the lights themselves. Yeah. The thing about this kit is that it's meant for a normal car. Normal cars have the batteries under the hood. However, Miata batteries are in the back. This, this, oh my god, it's just a shit show. Yeah, no, I know. This is how far the wires reach. Yeah, so he has to extend them. All right, the lights are in and adjusted. Brody, how's it going? Almost got one started on one end. Um, can I put the center console back on or no? Um, I don't see why not. Okay, because there's something to do. So I'm done with my job. Interior is back together. Pretty much what Brody is doing. We're extending the wires, black and red, right? Yeah. He's wrapping the entire thing in electrical tape, which actually is a really good idea. It's just a pain in the ass. Plus, it takes a lot of electrical tape. Although, that's going surprisingly far, so. All right, so another update. Everything is pretty much hooked up. Uh, Got the power going there, the ground is down there. The relay is unplugged right now, so there's no power going through it, but it's all hooked up. Um, Brody's working on the second extension wire, but the other one is running along there, along there. Comes up right here. Goes along, follows, follows the stock wiring harness. Goes down, zip ties to right there and right there and it plugs in. We already tested it, it lit up. So we're just gonna do the second one and then we're done. Oh, shit. I stepped on the uh, wires. <laughs> Oops. It's lighting up because it's got power, so that's cool. One thing I'm wondering is, will that drain my battery? Just that little light? I hope not. It shouldn't. It better not, that's all I can say. Oh yeah, it's working. They look yellow on camera. They're not yellow whatsoever. But uh, wow, it's really fucking bright. All right, they work. Okay, these are the shittiest pairs of scissors, like, known to man. This is a little better.
That was just the door. She back on the ground. All right, install is done. They work perfectly, thanks to Brody for doing 90% of the work. He did all the wiring, and I just put the things there. I took I, I took a six-week class on basic electrical. So yeah, <laughs> and I probably could have done it, but it probably wouldn't. It, it would it would be like your lights. Yeah, it would probably burn the car down. So it'd be it'd be like your lights were it. twisted together, hot glued, and electrical taped. It worked a little bit for like two weeks. It's true. <laughs> It's got a cool little switch. Now the switches there actually do something. Uh, they look cool and they're bright. So that's awesome. All right, cue the before and after. All right, so here we are at nighttime and it's raining testing the lights. Now this is just normal headlights and these are brights, okay? Normal headlights, brights, right? Now, voila. <laughs> oh, they're so much better. Normal headlights, brights, brights plus LEDs. As you can see, the LEDs are so much brighter than even the brights. Um, so yeah, that's why I bought them. So in nighttime situations when it's raining and spooky, I can see because I don't have 26 year old lights. Booyah, booyah. It's very noticeable. <laughs> uh, now technically these are illegal during the day. Like I can't, or even during the night, I can't really have them on the street, but on back roads when there's nobody there, it's good. So, uh, it's rainy. I'm gonna do some skids and go home. Cause you know, it's, it's what it's all about. Yet again, thank you to Oxbean for sending me those lights. If you wanna get some cool light bars or light pods, link in the description below.